Mayor Paul Tenhaken declared today as Osteogenic Loading Day in Sioux Falls in an effort to raise awareness of osteoporosis. In tonight's Health Beat, Kettleband's Sophie Heinemann shows us how a local business is helping people who are living with the disease. October 20th is World Osteoporosis Day, meant to bring awareness about low bone mass and osteoporosis globally. Dee Van Deest knows all too well how important it is to stay on top of bone health. I had very weak ankles and knees and was diagnosed with osteopenia and had and knew from my bone density that I had an 8% bone loss in my hips. She became a member at OsteoStrong, a local facility focused on building bone strength through osteogenic loading. Um, we utilize a series of four devices that um, emulate um, high impact exercise or pressure on the skeletal system that allows the human body to stimulate um, significant growth of new bone cells. Osteostrong chiropractor Dr. Becky Bear says the facility wanted to take raising awareness a step further in Kelloland, so they reached out to Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken. Thanks to his help, October 20th is now proclaimed Osteogenic Loading Day in Sioux Falls. It just means the world to us. We were incredibly honored when we got the word from the mayor's office. While raising awareness, she also hopes to show people what's available to them when dealing with bone loss. Thousands of people across the globe have experienced improvement in their bone health by utilizing osteogenic loading. All it takes to strengthen your bones is consistent work using machines like this right here in Kelloland. After 18 months at OsteoStrong, Van Deest has regained all of her strength. She's hopeful the proclamation will push others to keep up with their own bone health. I think it's very important. You know, our bones are something we take for granted. And it isn't until we run into problems that we start realizing we got to do something about it. And this is, could be so preventative for so many people. With Health Beat, I'm Sophie Heineman.